guys. Just gonna do a video on our uh, 2023 T800 that we just took delivery of. Um, these were factory orders, so we spec them exactly how we wanted them. Um, they got a 13.2 front end because uh, pulling Super Bs, you just don't need anything heavier than a 13.2 front end to get your maximum weight. Cat, shut up! <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I went with the small bunk. Um, I like the small bunk because guys can still sleep in there. But, uh, you know, being honest, I find the bigger the bunk, the more a lot of guys will hoard stuff in there. So a smaller bunk means less space to, uh, to hoard stuff that doesn't need to be in there in the first place. And uh, the smaller bunk also means that you need less frame length to have the clearance right there for your trailer. So you can have a shorter frame, which equals less weight, and it also equals better cornering going into your fields or better better turning when you're going into approaches because we've got a lot of approaches that aren't quite great so um yeah that you know because lots of trucks are 244 wheelbase and these i think are uh 219 or i guess our, our new peats are 244 i think and uh yeah these are 219 so it does make a difference when you're turning into tight approaches so um so yeah on the good size fuel tank here um we got these nice factory wrapped hoses i like those it just keeps them together and protects them um this is just a tarp cord here we didn't have one so we just kind of ran a temporary one with uh, pinchers to the batteries in the, in the truck so we'll make something up a little nicer when that shows up um and with the tub style fenders really like these fenders they've got the best rock protection for sure um, they go right around and then plus that they cut them out here so it's just it's as good a protection as you can get um, yeah, I went with the Durabrite coated rims. Uh, I've got those on a 2015 Tri-Drive and uh, pretty impressed with how shiny they keep the rims actually. They, they do a good job. Um, and these Bridgestone tires, uh, hopefully they're good. You know, I've never, I don't think we've ever ran these before, but you know, with COVID, it's basically beggars can't be choosers. That was kind of the, the option that we could get when we ordered these trucks. Same with the Joe's fifth wheel. I really didn't want a Joe's fifth wheel. I like Holland's better, but uh, you cannot buy a, or order with a Holland fifth wheel, or at least that's what uh, my salesman uh, told me. And I did notice all the trucks in the lot when I was there had Holland fifth wheels, so I don't think he's, he's BSing me. Um, yeah, I got these little ramps on the back too. I like these, you know, if your trailer's a little low, it just protects, the, protects your fenders from getting wrecked. It just gives them that little bit of a lift if your landing gear is quite high enough and, and yeah, protects your fenders. Um, went with the big def tank. Uh, what else? Yeah, the big, the bigger air cleaners. Um, still waiting on a visor. Uh, it's on the way. I'm gonna actually plan to take out the orange clearance lights and then just put in a bigger visor with penny lights in the visor and then, I don't know, I kind of think that it makes more sense if you've got nothing up there to uh, for dirt and debris to catch on. Like uh, your, your clearance lights, kind of you know, it's just one more place for for dirt to catch and salt and everything else. So, um, and then yeah, I got that front, that nice pin there in the front, so that a guy can hook on easy because trucks definitely get stuck. And, and then yeah, I went with the extra. I don't know what those are called, but the extra fins in the grill, I guess. Um, and then of course we always put on these aftermarket headlights because the factory Kenworth headlights are kind of a joke so uh, and yeah a few few chrome accessories open up the hood step in the bumper there So yeah, X15s, um, you know, we pull pretty much Super B steady, so 63.5. And uh, I like that you can get the 605 2050 uh, in the Cummins versus the Packard. So yeah, we went with the 605 2050s. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, I think these X15s have been a little bit better than the ISX. So go with those and, and uh, you know we've we've got lots of lots of Cummins already in all the all the parts and uh, the insight on our diagnostic laptop. So 
I don't know, just kind of keep keep with the Cummins line for now and parts, you know, for parts, uh, keeping parts the same and everything else. So, um, yeah, I went with uh, disc brakes. Um, they're supposed to last longer. We do have a 2014 Kenworth with disc brakes and it's got a million, not quite a million kilometers on it and they are original disc brakes that haven't been touched. So um, I'm pretty impressed with that, to be honest with you. And, and uh, yeah, with the disc brakes, um, there's, there's not a lot of greasing to be done on this truck. Um, I'm not sure honestly how many grease nipples there are. We just picked up and I haven't looked, but I, I'm not seeing many, so. We also went with the, I think it's a Spicer serviceless uh, drive shaft. So there's no no grease nipple on the drive shaft. So, um, you know, I think it's got a service life of 600,000 kilometers or something, something like that. So um, I'd rather just have that and change it out when the when the kilometer interval rolls around because guys forget and, and yeah. So yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but they're disc brakes disc brakes on the back as well and yeah 40 46 000 pound differentials full lockers i pretty much won't buy a truck without 46 dips and full lockers um and i got the engine and oil heater and then yeah we went with ultra shifts on these trucks um the last uh last couple trucks we've bought and have all been ultra shifts um you know, I'll be honest, we really like them. It, it, uh, the biggest thing we always find is I'll jump in a truck that, you know, I, I haven't been driving and the hired guys been driving it or whatever, and I go to put it in gear and it's grinding because they've wrecked the clutch brake because they don't understand how to use the clutch brake. So these ultra shifts, ultra shifts um, it's pretty difficult to wreck the clutch brake. And they're still an 18 speed, like same guts as a, as a ROTL 18 speed uh, Eaton transmission. So. They're definitely built tough you know the only the only thing that worries me with these transmissions is the clutch is i think eight or nine grand if you have to replace it but you know um the one thing i make sure of is that uh and even this one wasn't so we just changed it with our computer um they start out in first gear because from factory they start out in third gear so i mean obviously that's not ideal for super bees um you know especially in soft conditions in the field or we're loading grain out of the yard and the yard soft. I mean, it's got, it has to start out in low gear. Absolutely. Um, the other thing that really helps is, uh, of course the diff ratio, we went with 411 diffs. Um, that makes a, a huge difference for getting going in soft conditions and drivetrain load and everything else. So I definitely, 411 is my favorite diff ratio for sure for pulling 63.5, you know, um, uh, yeah, what else? Um, yeah, with the smart wheel. Um, I like. I love the smart wheel myself. You got your cruise here, and your three jakes here. And honestly, the one thing I do find with an ultra shift is you are adjusting your your jake steady. Like between the settings, usually on a standard, it's pretty much wide open or off. And uh, on the ultra shift, you're definitely adjusting these more. I find because uh, it it does a really good job downshifting and jaking. I I find like very good job. And it's kind of another another reason with the ultra shift is because. I find that uh, you know, honestly, lots of guys there. I hire them, and they're they're veteran truckers, and and even you know they're smooth at shifting gears and stuff, but they're they're not using the jake brake. And I'm like, well, that, that's not going to work. We have to use the jake brake. So you really don't have an excuse with the automatic because it's doing everything for you, I guess, right? So so another another bonus on the ultra shift, I guess. Um, and yeah, I went with the full gauge package. Um, we've had the Nav Plus. In a few other trucks and honestly they all just pile up so and i kind of i like to look at the full gauges myself i really like the kenworth interior i think the gauge package is beautiful the switches and, and uh and then yeah we got the uh our own personal radio our cb radio and then the, the radio for talking between all the trucks and uh i don't know what with these seats um supposed to be really good seats but time will tell I guess once we get some hours in the seat and I like the cup holder right here actually that's one of my favorite things um, I don't know if these fold backwards I was hoping they did but I guess yeah that'll give you an idea of how much room is in the bunk you know I mean it's not a huge bunk but it's enough to sleep in and a few containers and cubbies and I think that's all all you really need yeah we've got a back window here too the covers on it 
and then uh, I don't know if you can see it or not. Turn the light on here. Oh, it's not coming on. I'm not smart enough to turn the light on apparently. I can't really see, but anyways, there's a we got Labasto bunk heaters back here. Um, the Labasto bunk heater. I like those. You know, if you guys are staying over, you just turn them on and don't have to run the truck. Um, yeah, I got uh, WeatherTech's coming for it too. WeatherTech floor mats, they're just... Well, actually, Kenworth just forgot to install them. I don't know why, but they did. And uh, yeah, battery shut off straight there. So that's a handy spot. And uh, they are heated seats, so that's nice. And uh, yeah, there's a Wabasto, of course, for the engine as well. Um, I really tried to go with a, a Pro Heat heater, but just kind of availability and stuff, I ended up going with a Wabasto, but I find the Pro Heat X45 is like twice the heater of a Wabasto or an S part, it just heats up so fast. And, uh, and yeah, well, what else on the specs, I guess? Um, yeah, I'm not sure, I waited. I waited empty, pulling up my phone here, in one sec, and it was 8,600 kg, so, you know, I think that's a pretty pretty good weight for getting max payload on your truck. And I mean, and really it's as heavy as truck, as, it's almost as heavy of a truck as you can order without, you know, going with like a C500 or something like that, that's meant for more, you know, off-road work or patchwork. So it's, it's a very, it's a very heavy spec, I guess, with, while still being uh, not, still being light enough to get a good payload, if that makes sense, so. Yeah, really happy with how it turned out. Uh, the other one we'll be picking up this week from Kenworth. It's black, so basically the same same accessories and stuff. It's just this black color, so I think it'll look sharp on the black Super Bs and black trailers that we have. So, and yeah, the wet kit's already on here as well. So we run run our Hyder's trailers with a wet kit, so that's on there. And, and uh, yeah, I don't know. Really happy with how they turned out. So.